This is episode 4 on how to make millions from Beth Niger. You, you should watch episode 1, 2 and 3. On this video, we're going to be teaching you why we structured our video in a particular way. So the essence of learning how we structured it is, at the end of this video, you'll be able to know how to really make money out of all our tutorials inclined. Yo, good everyone, this is Anokaek. So I'm teaching you on how this video is going to be structured. So while I'm trying to make this video tutorial, I wanted to make sure every single person who watches this video tutorial is able to learn properly on how to trade and the aim is to teach you how to make multi-millions in betting. I've made close to half a billion in betting from virtual football alone. If you have been following me up for years, the account where I've made up to $300,000, I've made multiple millions in betting. So trying to teach you how to bet, I was thinking of the easiest way to make sure my message gets passed and people get to, under, um, get to understand the whole tutorial. So this is how we're going to be structuring this tutorial. First of all, I wanted to use a computer because obviously I'm, I'm very much conversant with using a computer to trade. But then I told myself that if I should use a computer, majority of the people don't have computers. Like a very large portion of the population, everybody has a mobile phone. Who doesn't have a phone? But now not everybody has a laptop or a computer. So because of that, I decided to use a mobile phone. So on this tutorial, I'm going to be using the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Then the second um, thing I thought to myself is, I have millions in my account. So why don't I just use 4 million to start teaching how to trade? One of my account has 4.7, another one has 3.4 million. I could simply just use the millions in my account to teach how to trade. But then I also thought to myself that if I should use millions to trade, I'll be discouraging lots of people who want to learn how to trade. So for instance, somebody who doesn't have up to a million gets to see my video of me trading with 4 million. They'll probably feel they can't achieve what I'm achieving because they don't have up to that capital. So what I decided to do was to start with the lowest minimum. So people who don't have up to um, that amount of money can know they can start with the little they have. So on this particular video tutorial, we're going to be starting up with 50,000. The aim of starting up with 50,000 is to reach out to as many people as possible. This was why I actually decided I should, I should go with 50,000. I discovered that if I should start with a million, people who have a million plus would not still want to do what I'm doing. Why? Because they will feel, oh, this guy is trading with a millionaire. That simply means he's a guru. Man, I can't take this risk with my one million. What if I put my one million in, in Bet Niger and then it goes? This is too risky. I can't try it. People who don't have up to one million, people who have a few hundred thousand will be like, wow. This guy is trading with 1 million. I, I wish I had up to a million, I would have tried it out. And the ones who want to borrow will say, what if I borrow and it goes bad? Then at the end of the day, I will only have little views, little reach out, little audience. So the easiest way to make sure I reach out to everybody and my message gets passed to everybody is to start off with something everybody can start with, which is 50,000.